Welcome to a new edition behind, uh, behind the news. I'm Aysama Harsadinian for Hal Al Hamalawi. And uh, in this edition of the program, we're going to discuss a very important issue indeed of interest to the community and at large, and that is youth. This great power that constitutes our society and that would help to make up the future leaders of tomorrow. Joining me in this edition of the program to further discuss this issue is Dr. Mona Zeki, the CEO of the Global Strategic Consultants. Thank you very much, Doctor, for being with us. Thank you very much. And uh, before we get into the details of this very important discussion, indeed, let's check out a review of the press over the past week, and we'll be back right away. Al Gumharia newspaper reported President Hosni Mubarak as saying that we are embarking on decisive year of party national action. In an important speech at the inauguration of the sixth annual conference of the National Democratic Party, the NDP, President Hosni Mubarak said that we are embarking on a new and decisive year of party and national election. In an important speech at the inauguration of the sixth annual conference of the National Democratic Party, the NDP, President Mubarak said that we are embarking on a new and decisive year of party and national action. He said the Shura Council midterm elections will be held within a few months. The president asserted that health care and education are two pillars of human development. The president also attached importance to the issue of energy security, which will also go to provide Egypt's needs of energy in the future. He added that Cairo pays more attention to the issue of water supplies due to its relation to national security. Al Ahram newspaper also quoted President Hosni Mubarak as saying that we are determined to go ahead with reform steps. President Mubarak renewed his determination to go ahead with reform steps, calling on the government to support farmers, solve their problems, and ease their sufferings. Addressing the closing session of the 6th annual NDP conference, the president vows that no steps will be taken backward. The president called upon the government to implement the conference recommendations and finalized draft laws on reforming social insurance, pension and health care insurance systems ahead of the new parliamentary session. Egypt State Information Service also reported President Mubarak as saying that democracy based on active parties enriching political life. President Hosni Mubarak insinuated the importance of presence of active parties in enriching political life and developing the atmosphere of democracy in the country. During his meeting with the NDP's higher board, President Mubarak voiced belief that a multi-party system forms the crux of democracy. So that was a quick review of the most important headlines making news pertinent to uh, our topic indeed in the program. Allow me once again to welcome uh, Dr. Mona Zaki. Thank you very much for being with us. And let's start off with the power of youth. Um, how do you perceive the importance of this segment uh, in our society? You know, youth uh, is, is a great power. It's really a source of power to everybody. And uh, youth is uh, young, young people in general. They have the health, they have the creativity, they have the, uh, the energy. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I must say that this is very contagious. When you're surrounded by youth, you really, uh, you, you become youth, young, you mm -hmm. become young. So the power of youth we cannot really neglect. On the contrary, we have to enhance all all the uh, all their uh, um, their energy, all their uh, skills, uh, all, all all what they have 
to really develop a better community and a better society. Mm -hmm. And since our topic today is basically about leadership and youth, uh, where do you perceive uh, youth today in our society? Do you see that they are taking center stage and participating in the decision making, at least on the civic society level? Uh, I see that uh, the young generation is better than before. But this is on, I can't say that this is on a massive level. Mm -hmm. We have to be very objective and very uh, honest here. I wish we could say this on the massive level because we're 80 million people and a big percentage, quite a considerable percentage of this um, population is under the age of 50. And if I really, if, I'm de if I dare to say that under the age of 50 is considered to be young. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, if we start by uh, the, uh, the leadership skills, this is something that should really start from the beginning, what, during childhood. And this comes from, uh, by educating parents how to develop the personality of their, of their children. So you would mm. say that leadership comes by practice. It's not a matter of character that you strengthen. You see, uh, some people have the charisma. Some people are very charismatic. But this is trained. It's a science. Nobody is born as a leader, you know. Nobody, unless he has the genes of, <laughs> you know, something supernatural or something. But this is really trained. This is practice. This is being educated. This is a science. So the only way to develop leadership skills is to, number one, to be open to learn, to provide the education, and to have a, 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 a role model, a leader, you know, have a, a role model in one's life. This is very important. And to develop the strategic thinking as a culture, not as only a science, but mm -hmm. as a culture. What's my vision in 20, 30, 40 years? What do I want to be? If I want to be a leader or I just want to be a boss or a manager, a leader is elected, is chosen by people. Mm -hmm. A boss is imposed on people, you see? So there is a big difference in leadership skills really need to be enhanced. Mm -hmm. So you would say actually that the um, regular question that we are used to ask uh, little children, what would you like to be when you grow up? Absolutely. This is one step towards building the leadership skill. Absolutely. It's, it's just give choices to the children. Give them choices to choose. If you choose this, you'll have this. If you choose that, this develops the personality of the child. Mm -hmm. And what would you and give them responsibilities of as course. well. As a child, they need to be responsible because a big portion of leadership is the sense of responsibility, being a responsible person. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, apart from this very important point, uh, a very good tip for every parent to actually uh, you know, work on uh, in the individuality of the person and giving them independence, what other tips, uh, um, Dr. Mona, would you tell us uh, to build this very yes. important skill yeah. in one's so child. The, the, uh, yeah, the child, back to, to uh, the child here, it's very important to give the child the freedom to be creative, to give the child the freedom to, to express his feelings, his opinion, not to just impose the parent's opinion. Mm -hmm. This is extremely important. But and I respect know. them. Please, oh, right. there is a big difference between loving the children and spoiling the children. Mm -hmm. Love and respect is extremely important. I've, I'm a mother and I can tell you this. Love the children doesn't mean spoiling the children. Because you provide them with what they need, not just what they desire, because what they, there is a big difference between needs and desires, you see. You don't give them all what they desire, because this is spoiling, unless they deserve this you know mm -hmm. but you provide their needs you provide them with their needs the best education you can give them the best environment you can give them the best tolerance you give them and that's the only way to develop the personality of the child so it, so he can grow up in in a healthy environment mm -hmm. with a good leader figure you know and this helps a lot the child. So Again, where would you draw the line? Leader. Yes, doctor, but where would you draw the line between giving the child the uh, independence of making his choices and um, 
uh, the role that parents must play in um, yeah. leading up the polite role, you know, educating. Absolutely, uh, bringing up the children.